Welcome to Structure Showdown, and it's time to. It's time to do, 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 do. duel. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Structure Showdown. Now, where we left off last week, we won enough games to buy the Rage of Cyphers Structure Deck to bolster our extra deck. With the extra cards, we have like Galaxy Eyes, Cypher X Dragon, and all the other Cypher Dragons. We have a few missing cards in the extra decks, which is what the wins today are gonna go towards. So the deck right now is looking like this. We have added our Cypher Dragons into the extra deck that's going to bolster our attacks and the things that we could do. I think the main idea is still gonna be the same, getting Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon out to bolster its attack to 12k, 15k as we have been doing along with the Photon Dragon and the Afterglow Dragon. Now, without further ado, Let's get this show on the road. I feel like going second and just ending it before he can actually disrupt our play is the motive. And from there, we can go on and see how it goes. So, the cards, the hand is looking good. We have a Photon Stream of Destruction and Galaxy 100 in our deck, uh, in our hands. Photon Stream of Destruction is an easy banish. We're up against Bingo Machine Go. Blue Eyes. Okay, so it's a Blue Eyes deck nice now he's gonna make me choose from these right i'm gonna choose this one at random so we have a photon vanisher in the hand but it cannot attack since if it was special summoned the turn it is special summoned but this is used to get our level 4 xc's monster and it's gonna get this effect banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card and we also have Photon Orbital, which is an equipped monster that boosts our attack even more. Yeah, I think we do this. We boost it up to level 8. And then we're going to use Galaxy 100 to send Emperor to the graveyard, which is going to special summon onto the field. Um, yes, yes, yes. And then we're going to go into our Photon Dragon. But we are going to have to play the Emperor play. So Emperor gets sent to the graveyard. Then it gets special summoned. Does he have a response? Nope. Absolutely not. All right, we're going to go straight into Galaxy Eyes Prime uh, Photon Dragon. Now, the only problem is any battle damage they take this turn is going to be half because we don't have Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon equipped to the card. So that's going to be a problem. We're going to special summon Photon Vanisher as well and then activate its effect to add Galaxy Eyes to our hand. Yep. We're going to summon Galaxy Eyes again using two of these cards. Face up attack position, which is going to do something. Let's banish his face down. Oh, okay. So now here's the play. We play Photon Orbital, right? We equip it to Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and then we tribute it which is going to enable us to get uh, the, the Afterglow Dragon into our hand. Now, Afterglow Dragon's effect is I can special summon it onto the field. Yep. And then this enables us to go to another Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Now, what this is going to do is this time he's going to take the damage, full damage and not half damage. And since we detach on battle phase, as we can see here, we detach, it's going to add attack when I detach off the glow dragon and the fact that I detached off the glow dragon is going to double its attack and end the game right here uh, let's just get yep 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 special summon him onto the field and it's GG let's go let alone the fact that galaxy eyes can attack as well this turn I think but 11k damage and it's over nice well played well played clean and we rank up to bronze tier 3 get ourselves a little 100 gems and move on to game number two hey you hey teddy's saying why aren't you subscribed subscribe to the channel we lose the coin toss this time cheese oi wheelie that's his name i'm not making random sounds okay what's our hand looking like right now photon sanctuary is really good galaxy expedition again we're gonna work with this what are we playing against prank kids oh no we're gonna be here for a while if it's still the combo i remember because i played this deck once and this combo takes forever. Yep, send off dropsies. Send in meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Dropsies is gonna bring the red one or the green one. 
or something and then he's gonna bring it back that's gonna go there he's gonna do this and do that and then it's just gonna end like a big fuck fest fiesta dodo doodle do okay mr dodo dodo's gonna re-shaman and then he's gonna go into his four gyarados looking monster but didn't they get nerfed pretty sure they got nerfed real hard yep there we go what's what's this fanzies okay wind fire and water fanzies dropsies and lampsies why don't they just call it fire seas or something flame seas bro this is so long one of the main reasons i stopped playing this deck was of how long the combos actually take i like i like his limit of removal with his car it looks so cool it looks so cool oh my god oh really swords of revealing light for what Okay, we're gonna go straight into our link summon with our two card, uh, two tokens, and that's gonna enable us to hopefully get a card. He's just gonna keep gaining life points, and the problem is if he exceeds 10k, then it's gonna be a problem. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I mean, I could do it again. That's fine. Destroy all monsters. How many times can you do that? Oh, now he's going to have more than 10k health and it's going to be a problem now. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. One pound fish. Have a look. One pound fish. Very, very cheap. One pound fish. Six, four, five pound. One pound fish. Come on, man. Bro. What are you doing? You're going to go into Dodo Bird again. Oh, Meow Meow. Into Dodo Bird. It's just the same combo over and over again. This deck is so boring, bro. I'm sorry if you play Prank Kids, but... Like, I played this deck when it was Tier 1, Tier 2, back in the day. And it was boring then, and it's still boring now. My rabbit's twerking from boredom, bro. Ten hours later, the same combos over and over again. He resummons, does this. Resummons, does this. Resummons, like... Yeah, look, Dodo Doodle Do. Great for you. Yep, okay, gonna attack my Soul Flare Dragon. Yes, you are. Okay, good for you. Yes. Bro, you do so much and then you end up with so little. That's that's why this deck is so bad now. So we're gonna go into our new Galaxy Cypher Blade Dragon. Um and have its destroy effect pop off so we could actually get rid of the child's play here. And the Swords of Revealing Light is fine. Um, we should be able to continue doing stuff once it starts asking me to do some stuff. Now we activate effect. Yes. We are going to send... What happens if we send this to the... No, we're going to send Emperor. Because Emperor can re-summon itself. Let's get rid of Child's Play because that's a problem. Okay, now we're cooking. We got Child's Play out of the way. Galaxy Emperor activates. Now the only problem we have is his back row swords of revealing light like we need to get rid of that to be able to attack does photon hand work now apparently not i don't know when this works you can only activate one photon hand per turn okay that's cute and there we go there's child's play again can we activate a uh, galaxy eyes cypher oh, fucking hell man oh so why would you play swords of concealing light bro like that is so annoying there's the battler again Battle Butler, not the Battler. There's Rocket Ride. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen this. Direct Attack. That's fine. Now, it depends on who we choose to attack with this. If he keeps Cypher... Yeah, there we go. Okay, fine. If he went with Emperor, we could have resummoned Emperor. But the fact that he went with Cypher is a problem. I mean, next turn, we still go into Cypher, but... This is so fucking annoying. Still can't use Photon Dragon, but we're going to special summon by getting rid of this and this. Why? Bro, how many turns has it been? Your Swords of Revealing Light should have went by now. And then my Emperor is going to kick off. Man, you have such a toxic deck. No one cares. Why are you playing this deck? You know what? I'm going to spare you guys this duel i'm gonna surrender i'm gonna edit most of it out so you're not bored and we're gonna move on that's what we're gonna do because fuck that guy and fuck everyone who plays prank kids no take backs oh we're up against butt cheeks 
Oh, butt cheek. My bad. Let's hope this isn't as bad as the previous game where we just wait for half an hour and then nothing happens and it just prolongs the game. Ooh. Look what we have here. It's a Red Dragon Archfiend deck. Damn, this is what I play in the TCG. So, I know the ins and outs of this deck very well. I say as I misplay. This is good, I like to see this. I respect butt cheeks for this. <laughs> <laughs> Soul Resonator into Bone Archfiend, gonna go into Crimson Dragon. Yes. Discard your card, change the level. This is why Crimson Resonator at 3 is important as well with this deck. Instead of playing Soul Resonator, you go with Crimson Resonator, Special Summon, and then Bone Archfiend, and you don't have to activate its effect, which allows you to kick off more uh, as a combo extender when Bone Archfiend is in a graveyard and you can use this effect to Special Summon most of the time. There we go, Scar, Dragon Archfiend. No Crimson? Ah. Uh... That's no good. That's no good. I could have popped off with three Red Dragon Archfiends with that hand. Okay, we got trade in here. Trade in doesn't really help. Thrasher is going to be special summoned. And we can actually special summon Photon uh, Vanisher from our hand with that. Activate its effect to get Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to the hand. Unfortunately, Apparently not. Now, if we got Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to the hand, we could special summon it and then special summon Afterglow and just end the game right there. But the Ash actually saved him right there. But that's not going to matter because our Xyz monster is going to be able to search now. So he kind of used his Ash for no reason as I have two searches with level fours. So now Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon's on the field. What do you have now? Maxi. Okay, draw the amount of cards you want. The game's over. We're going to activate effect. We're going to add galaxy eyes photon dragon to our hand yes but however we're not going to be able to play it which is stupid on my part because i should have got emperor and then traded it in and i went from there so we trade in we're going to send galaxy eyes photon dragon to the graveyard we draw two okay photon sanctuary now allows me to play to special summon we're going to link summon into our link to soul fair dragon which is going to enable us to get a card from our graveyard, which would be Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So, we activate effect, and then we get Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and then we're going we're gonna to chain link into Photon Stream and banish his card Dragon Archfiend, so he doesn't summon Red Dragon Archfiend as well with the effect. Absolutely fine. And now, we're going to end the game. Special summon Red Dragon Archfiend by tribute in both our cards in face up position after glow dragon effect special summon yep and then we are going to go straight into our prime galaxy eyes prime photon dragon and you know the deal it's gg from here when we go into battle phase attack and then detach our after glow dragon Double attack, increase attack, double it with Afterglow Dragon's effect and end the game. It's pretty much GG. I mean, if he doesn't die here, he dies with Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon on the field and it's already over. 11k damage. Unlucky, my guy. Red Dragon Archfiend doesn't really stand a chance against Photon Dragons if not played properly. Now, he went first. He had a great hand. So why did he send this to the graveyard? When he discarded a card, he was supposed to discard Crimson Resonator. Through Crimson Resonator, he could go into Red Rising Dragon, Special Summon Crimson, and then pop off from there with Crimson Resonator, activate effect, bring Synchron and Soul Resonator onto the field. Uh, not Synchron, Soul Resonator, and why is he playing Red Resonator? What is this? Okay, no, there's another Resonator that he brings on, Vision Resonator. That's very important for this deck. I don't know why he's not playing it, but yeah, sure. Anyways, we move on. We move on. I get caught up with the statistics. But respect to him for playing the RDA deck. I like to see that in Master Duel. Nice. We have a nice going uh, second hand. Photon Emperor and trading. You always want to see these two cards on the field uh, in your hand. Galaxy Wizard as well. 
it's an easy level eight and then special summon go into whatever you want to go into. We have two wins under our belt, which means two packs for next episode of our choosing to bolster our extra deck even more. <clears throat> Galactic Karibo is always nice. Now we're gonna go in with Galaxy Wizard first. I don't know why he did this though. Let's tribute and then let's see what happens. One of our spell cards do does have a good effect. Okay, so we're gonna go with Galaxy Soldier. Instead of using trading for Photon Emperor, we're gonna use Galaxy Soldier's effect to discard Emperor from our hand. And now with Galaxy Soldier, what's gonna happen is Emperor's effect is gonna kick off. Uh, we're gonna chain link one and then chain link two. Yep. So then Galaxy Soldier, we get to add, well it's game already, so that's three games. We're gonna add Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon to the hand, unless he has any hand traps to stop us from attacking. Uh, we go Emperor comes onto the field, that's two cards that enables us to get Photon Dragon onto the field. So activate effect, activate effect, get Photon Dragon onto the field. We have Afterglow in our hand, which is gonna special summon itself. Bada boom bada bing, let's go. We don't need to activate any effects. We go into Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Beautiful. I don't know why he did not play any cards, but I'm not playing around it. I'm not overthinking this. I'm just going to go to battle phase right now and get our third win of the day. Attack. Double the attack, please. Yep. Discard Afterglow. And then end the game in one turn. Let's go. I love this deck when it does this. I swear to God. Special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon again. It, it doesn't matter. It's game if he does not have any Battle Fader effects in his hand. And he doesn't. That's a third easy win for the Galaxy Eyes Photon deck. Let's go. And with that, we are now Bronze 1 with the Galaxy Photon deck in the structure showdown. Over 9999 damage. 3000. It's given us a lot of legacy draws. We are going to get three packs to pull from to bolster our deck even more with more cards in the extra deck. We're going to pull one or two or maybe three of Sword of the Seventh One. We can use any card that comes out of those packs as well. So we need to keep an eye out for any staples and any cards that might give us a little bit more of an edge and take out some cards that we don't need in this deck like some of these spell cards that are just in there to fill out slots and with that we will be ending today's episode of structure showdown thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and peace out Draw the line.